Hi guys, so today I'm going to do my October project pan finale and I am in a little bit of a different location. It is Veterans Day today, November 11th and um, I just cleaned my room so I thought I would film in here. I'm still like washing the sheets. That's why uh, my bed looks like this. Um, but yeah, this is a awesome pregnancy pillow, which I can talk about if you'd like. Um, but I've just been really behind on videos, so I haven't had like a chance to like upload a video like that. So we're just gonna get started. I had nine products, three face products, and I forgot to take pictures. And that is why another reason why I'm filming up here because this is where my camera is, and my camera's charging right now, like right in front of me. So once I'm done filming my video, I'm going to take pictures. So for November, we will have pictures. So yes, get excited. So the first thing was my Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush in Hot Tamale. Um, I did make some progress. I've been, I push it together, so all I have to do is like pat it on my cheeks each time I use it. So that's why it's like clumped up in the middle is because I don't use a brush, I just use, um, I just kind of like set it on my skin and then use a brush then to like blend it out or whatever. And I have been wearing it. Um, it's just super, super pigmented. And so I really have to blend it out, especially since I have another blush in this project and another blush I'm working on. And so when I layer them, I really have to be careful so it's not too strong. So... Um, yeah, I really like this. I will continue. This will be a rollover for November, but this is what it's looking like. I did make some progress. I am hoping to have this done by the end of the year. I think there's a very good chance of that. We shall see um, as it gets lower and like how I decide I'd like to wear it. So yeah, there's that. The second face product we'll just go straight into the is the blush um, that I was talking about, and this is the Adrian Arpel True Blush, one my mom gave me years ago. And it looks like this. Again, it's something I'd really like to have done by the end of the year. I don't know how possible that is. But this is where we are at. So that's really exciting. I feel like we have made some progress and I will be continuing to wear it. I wear this every day. The cream blush, I didn't, um, but this I did because I really, really want this gone. I have so many blushes. That's a category, that and eyes, that and eyeshadow, and that I still have so, so many, um, and it's gonna take me so long to get through them, but I do really like this. It's just, it's so it's not like I don't like it and I'm trying to get rid of it. I just have so much and this is my oldest one so I'm trying to use it up. And um, that's why I decided to do a pan that palette which doesn't like um, help my collection too much but just gets a really big you know, palette out of my life and my palette was quite large and I'm really excited to share that update. It'll be up in the next three or four videos. Um, so yeah, definitely subscribe if you want to see a pan that palette because um, you're on a project pan so you might like Pan the Palette, just a thought. And the third thing is the Becca Low Light Highlight Perfecting Palette. And I've actually decided to not use this in November, but I feel like I did make a little bit of progress. There's a little bit of a dip. There were no dips in it before, and I feel like there is a little bit. I like this. Um, I just, I'll explain in my November um, project pan introduction but I just don't feel like these were doing it for me right now I think this is a better summer product for me um and so yeah I'm going to be using switching to powder highlighter and a powder bronzer at least for November I might come back to this we'll see um I got a different foundation and I think they this just doesn't sit well it's not I got a matte foundation and so I really need something that's like super these are more subtle and which is awesome but I feel like I with my matte foundation and like getting into the winter and being a little bit drier and a little bit lighter I feel like I need a more intense highlight and bronzer so and these are harder because they're cream and they're like they are pigmented especially the bronzer but then they just kind of like I don't know they kind of blend into your skin which is really nice but I don't know anyways that being said, I did use them. You can see the dips in them, but they won't be rolling over. Just a heads up. 
with this, but I did enjoy it that month. So those are the three face products. I had three eye products. One I finished, and it is the e.l.f. Butternut Brightening Eye Color Quad. I use this on top of my, with my Pan That palette, because they're very similar. They're both actually e.l.f. Um, and I finished this. I only had a little bit of the these two darker shades left. I don't know if you can see them. Sorry, the light is being really strange right now. Um, so yeah, I like this. I don't think, I don't know if I'll purchase it just because the shapes of them are really, really odd. Like the triangles, I don't like. It really annoys me when I get close to the end because my brushes just don't fit in there very well. That's why there's still like some on the corners, but I'm not dealing with that. So when I repurchase this, it's only a dollar, so it's great like for your money, like pigmentation wise, but just like the packaging, I can't deal with. So, but I did finish it and I'm really excited. So that's one um, eyeshadow palette that I can finish for the year. <laughs> there will be another one of those small ones in my November one. So definitely stay tuned, check it out. The next thing is a Maybelline Mix Matchers, and I don't think I know what color this is in. On this side, it has a silver shade, and I originally used this for my waterline, um, but I changed it, and now it like is the highlight to my brow bone, my brow bone highlight, I guess, and that's been working out really, really well. I really like that a lot better. Um, it wasn't staying in my waterline, and so now I just use this the black end for eyeliner on the top and on the bottom and I've been really liking that. Um, eyeliner is definitely something I need to get in the habit of. I have quite a few eyeliners um, as well, I guess, blush. There's a couple categories that I have just so many of and like blush and this are just so hard to get through that I feel like I will have eyeliners and blushes forever until they go bad. But, you know, they're like not this one but a lot of them like the pencil I have a lot of pencil eyeliners that won't go bad for quite a while so that's really good news but uh anyways we're gonna work on this hopefully by the end of the year that's my goal for this to have it finished and the third and final eye one and then I have three lip products is a Revlon cream illuminates cream shadow in um precious metals and this is what this looks like. I finished the silver color and then a bronze color. Um, and then I still have a like maroon and like gold color left. So I still have these two left, but as you can see, I've hit major pan on, the, on them. So these will be done hopefully halfway through November. Um, or I guess today's November 11th, so by the end of November for sure. And so I'm hoping these will be going over to my November project pan and hoping to have them finished. Um, that would be super exciting. I finished one of those in my September project pan, I believe, if I remember correctly. The months are just like going by so fast. I have three lip products. The first one is a lip balm and it is from an orthodontist I went to in my school town. It was down to this first I or first N marking and now it's up to the like beginning of the T. So I made some decent progress this month. Um, I do think this does moisturize my lips. Um, I tried another lip balm one night and I don't, and I think it chapped my lips, but I've just been trying to work on this and then I'm going to go back to that lip balm and see if it really does do that or if it just happened to be my lips that day. So, cause that's always a possibility. Sometimes my lips just go crazy. There's my cat. The next thing, the next thing is a wet and wild glassy gloss in mow the glass. And I use this every morning as I go to work. It started, I think more closer to up here, but I, you can't see through it. And now it's about here when it all settles. So again, this is something that will definitely be moving to, over to November. Something I really enjoy. Um, and I really like lip glosses. They're super quick and easy. So I put it on on my way to work, sometimes on my way home, but usually traffic annoys me so much that I don't. Um, what is on my lips and something I'm really working on using up, but this is the um, CoverGirl Blastic in Pucker. I've had it for years, and I've 
every time I forget how long wearing this stuff is. It is like a liquid lipstick or like a stain lip stain I guess in like lipstick form it stains your lips and it doesn't come off which is great except for the fact that then I apply it once or twice a day and nothing and no progress is made but this is the color I have the um, there's two sides there are two sides a dark side and a light side and so I have the dark side all over my lips right now. And then I have this lighter side just in the middle of my lips. So um, I do like this color. Let me know what you think down below if you like the lip color or not. Some days I go back and forth, but today I'm liking it. So we shall see. Um, and again, this is just something that's really hard to use up. I'm going to continue using it and try and be a little bit more consistent with it. Maybe put it on at lunchtime and in the morning. And I don't really do much in the evenings and so maybe try and put it on in the evenings too. Um, just take it out of my purse instead of just leaving it in there. And maybe that will help a little bit use it up. But those were the nine products in my October project pan. Um, the next video up will be not my November project pan introduction so definitely subscribe so you know when that comes up and i will talk to you later bye